As we know, the left has thrown up roadblocks at every turn trying to stop the populist movement that put President Trump into office. And now Brexit leader Nigel Farage says the same thing is happening to the effort in his country to Brexit out of the EU. Joining us now, Fox News contributor Nigel Farage. Good morning, Nigel. We cover uh, Good morning. very often what's happening to the president here, not just amongst Democrats, but also against from establishment Republicans. You say right now across the pond the same thing is happening with Brexit. Yeah, very much so. I mean, if you think back, the political revolution of 2016 with Brexit and with Trump was people voting for change, real fundamental change. And here we are, you know, in the middle of the following year, and that change isn't happening. We've seen frustrations from the judiciary, uh, and we would expect the liberal media, we would expect opposition parties to try and frustrate Brexit. But what I think is so frustrating on both sides of the pond is there are people who masquerade as conservatives in order to get themselves elected uh, and are now you know damaging the attempt for us to get a clean brexit stopping the president getting his agenda through congress and i think there's something very fundamental at stake here it is people's faith and belief in the whole democratic process yeah no you're right i mean over there they call them tories in the labor party over here we call them republicans and democrats yeah. there's a story on the front page of, of the newspaper the president calls the failing new york times this morning talking about 2020 opponents to the president from Republican senators like Ben Sass, but add someone like Ben Sass and Lisa Murkowski and Susan Collins, moderates inside the Senate. They're spending as much time or more resisting this president's yes. efforts as he leads their own party. Yeah, I and mean, I think there must be now growing real genuine anger uh, amongst millions of people who turned out to vote for Trump. Uh, in many cases, people who had not voted Republican before or perhaps had never voted in their lives, they engage with the process. They've got a president that is holding faith with them that wants to carry out the agenda. And yet it's, the, you know, it's, it's, it's Trump's own side that are stopping these things from happening. And I would have thought uh, that what needs to happen in both the Republican Party here and the Conservative Party back at home, is when it comes to candidate selections, uh, there ought to be a weeding out of those people who are not playing for the same team. Yeah, I mean, at Brexit, the vote happened, but what happens after that is what really matters. Just like Election Day here, whether the agenda moves forward, what can be done to ensure the movements continue? What's the most important aspect? Well, I think the most important thing is the way the people feel. Uh, the people that voted for Brexit, believe you me, a year on, if we had that referendum again, we get a much bigger majority in favour of it. So people want this change to happen. Uh, and similarly here, I mean, it's interesting, isn't it? We've been talking with Brexit about having a point-style immigration system, just the same debate that's now happening here in America. Mm. You know, people want these things to happen, but it's our political class on both left and right that are stopping it. And, 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 and I have to say uh, that if people don't get what they wanted and they start to lose faith in the whole democratic process, that is bad well, for our whole society. You're right. The elites in the political class, they control the media as well, which is creating this impression yeah. that everyone's running away from President Trump. But I think if you're on the ground, just like you saw in Brexit, it's actually the opposite. When they try to block what they voted for, they get even more frustrated. I think that's right. And I, and, and I have to say that all the attempts... Uh, to try and paint the Trump campaign as somehow being run and influenced by the Russians. You know, it may entertain uh, the liberal elite living in Washington, but actually out there in real America, it just makes support for Trump even stronger because they can see that this is actually an attempt yeah. to effectively frame the president. You're right. Well, Nigel Farage, thank you very much for speaking to thank us you. this morning. Appreciate it.